Hi, how's everybody doing today? Um, I just want to show you uh, an album. This is from Snow um, that I had done um, for my sister's wedding. Uh, this is a little uh, Christmas present, so I thought I'd show it to you before I give it away. Uh, but uh, this is what I put together. This is the um, uh, lay flat album they call it and um, uh, that's because the pages will lay flat when you open them up um, and the prints can continue on through the page uh, I went with the genuine leather this is the black leather uh, very classic I thought for a wedding uh, you can get all kinds of options you can get it printed with text on the front uh, I opted for the cameo cover uh, I thought that would just be a nice clean touch. I don't have any text through the whole book. So they know who they are. They know who shot it. I don't, know, I don't need my photography information on there. Um, I just wanted to make a nice clean classic album. So on the cover I went with a grayscale image or black and white image in the cameo. Uh, black uh, cover obviously and then the white edges. Uh, you can get silver or gold gilded edges too if you wanted to. Um, I thought that was a little, uh, a little cummerbund like, you know, a little eighties style, you know, where you you really wanted to flash it up. I'm just trying to make it clean, contemporary, um, so it fits the times. You know, in 20 years, who knows? But hopefully, they have the book and can enjoy it for that long. Um, so anyway show you what I did now it's weird when you're picking these out because you pick the number of pages first and I'm like I don't know how many pages it's gonna lay out because you gotta start laying it out but they do have a way to add pages uh, once you start going this is the black paper liner or fly sheet um, this is the regular uh, the regular thickness of the paper it's still pretty thick there's a kind of like a cover stock and then there's a print glued to both sides of it so it's still got some thickness to it they do make thicker pages but there's a page limit then and I don't think I could fit as many pictures in it so uh, I went with the regular paper so I mixed black and whites and um, color I tried to tell a story throughout the day so um, you know getting ready in the morning you know some of the some of the little accessories rings and stuff um, so just thought I'd show that to you um, I'll bring the camera around and show you more close there's some color so it's pretty cool you can extend pictures across pages so if you have a vertical that you want to pair with a horizontal you can um, you can do that it looks pretty cool and I try to change it up so each time the picture layout isn't the same. So every page kind of changes a bit. All right, so here's a little closer in. Here's the uh, the surprise, you know. The first time I did that, where bride walks out, surprises the groom. Um, vows. We went to the Cleveland Art Museum. This is a COVID wedding too, by the way, so there's not a ton of people in it. Um, because they had some limit where you can't have more than 10 people, you know, uh, gather at one time. So uh, COVID rules, you know. Uh, so a lot of time it was me with the two of them, but um, then they were with various people getting ready. I uh, just threw this in there for some color. This is from the courtyard at the church, though, so that was the day of their wedding. I don't just throw any flowers in there. <laughs> um, let's get to the more... Okay, yeah, here's... Uh, this is taken with the uh, Zeiss 135 F2 lens, so it got a really nice background blur there. Um, I think... Uh, he couldn't get a haircut either because of COVID because everybody everybody was going nuts over it all. Uh, 
Look at that, I even set the timer and had to jump in one. <laughs> the family, ring shots, some more at the uh, art museum with the pillars. And uh, I think she's laughing because he's carrying the flowers. But I thought it was fun. Uh, we still had some cherry blossoms out around the art museum, which is rare that they're that late, so we're getting lucked out there. And then we got the uh, steps of the, the marble steps of the art museum there. Did a black and white in that that just had kind of a classic look to me, and I put a little bit of grain in it. We got dinner. Of course, they're friends came to see them. Yeah, there's people, a bunch of people that couldn't attend the wedding, but uh, they they came to see them. There was a whole parade that came through of cars and everybody's um, saying hi, taking pictures. The buffet food was really good. Little detail on the cake, cake cutting. Here we got the, since it's a Corona wedding, we, they're there with Coronas. <laughs> it's a little sense of humor. And uh, the parting shot. I thought that was a nice end to the book. And then another fly sheet. Anyway, that's that. Uh, I do like the quality of these books. Um, they're coming out pretty nice. Um, I'll be ordering more from them. But... Um, uh, I think, I think I I wish I would have got a display box because it's just this right now. It came in a cardboard box and a little plastic sleeve, so that's that's what I'm gonna give them. In. The display box is like thirty dollars just for a cardboard box. That, but it's nice looking, and I think that would be a nice thing to have. So, uh, anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.